so after the point of performance, I said to him, how are you going to get there without hip extension? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi there. I hear you want a story. It's hard to say where this one starts, but I know it ends in merry old England. Hi guys, I'm here at the uh, Excel Centre in London. Uh, it's just been absolutely phenomenal to see how many people have uh, come here to travel here to London to watch Strength in Depth and it just shows like how much the community in the UK and Europe value competitions like this. Uh, not everybody can afford to travel to the Games and this brings Games level athletes to the country and it's motivation for all the people in the crowds, the, the young kids that are coming to watch that it's something that they can aspire to to be like. They're watching their heroes, there's Rich Ronin on the floor for the teams, there's Matt Fraser competing in the individual males, Laura Horroth in the individual females, uh, there's Tia walking around the crowd. So it's just uh, fantastic that there's elite athletes mixing in with everybody here and uh, really is positive for UK CrossFit. The OG from the UK and fittest woman on earth in 2013, Samantha Briggs there with her thoughts on the competition in London and its significance. Hey guys, I'm Ro here in CrossFit Mayhem. Strength in depth is over. So who won? Who's going to the CrossFit Games? I am here to get you caught up. The final day featured two events for the men, women, and teams. Tin Trail featured rope climbs, handstand walks, and a yoke carry. And 21.15.9 was a barn burner featuring the ski erg, burpees, and heavy overhead squats. Teams faced variations of these with the final including everyone's favorite, the worm. We'll get to the action in just a moment, but first, a segment with the powerfulest of power couples. This is brought to you by Noble. G'day! I'm here today with Shane Orr, How and we are currently at Sid CrossFit Sanctional here in London. Live. It is very live. 100%. It's happening right now and we as are, we speak. We're on the ground right now, just outside the boundary where the athletes warm up. Thank you for that. We're going to make our way out into the crowd. We're going to ask a few people about what they think of Sid. Am I right, Tia? Yes. It has been an incredible event so far. Let's go. Right, right this way. All right, we found some people that are camping out. Yes. They've been here all weekend. Yeah. Hi. 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 What is your name? Yes. Alice? Yes. Alice, where are you from? I'm from here. Well, that, that's convenient because what we want to do, we're on, we're on Rory today, or Row today. Row to the game. To the game. Sorry, there we go. Alice, you made it. We want to know what you think the highlight will be for today of Sunday's event at the city. You can just look to this direction. What? Tell us your highlight for today's event. See it here, obviously. Whoa, well, that's huge. That's massive. Yeah. Who are you? Where are you from? I am Sophie and I'm from Barbara. Where are you from? Barbara. There we go. I don't know. What are we looking forward to today? It's Sunday at Sid. If you could just shout into that bad thing. Yeah, are you going to compete? Are uh, you competing? Yeah! I know Whoa! that. She's from Barbara as well. <laughs> we know each other. Yeah! Roscoe. Roscoe. What are you looking forward to? Today to watch these lot crush it on the floor. Okay. Here we go. You gotta, Amanda, Amanda we need more energy. Amanda, where are you from? Swansea and surfers. I missed that. Amanda, Cloud. what are you looking forward to the most today? Yeah. Me. <laughs> Amanda, out there on Sid, which event are you looking forward to? There's know. so much that she's looking she forward to. She doesn't know what to say. Everything. Uh, she I can't don't even plan. think. All right, today, guys, we've gone around. We've asked people what their biggest and most celebrated or excited moment of today is. Just be careful the floor. Oh, oh, hang on. What's over here? We have a worker. Hey, what's your name? Uh, Jack. No, what are you looking forward to in today's <laughs> event? Six or so, seven. Clearly, Jack has been working so hard all weekend. He doesn't even realize there's a competition happening. Jack. All right, Ro. So, the Aussies checking back out to you from Sid here in London. Everyone is so excited to be here. It's been a fantastic event. We can't wait for the last I'm sorry event. you can't be here. So, Rory, over to you. <laughs> what just happened? Do I really sound that way? 
<laughs> hey, big thanks to T and Shane. Looks like they're having such a good time. They certainly made it more fun for me to have them involved. But let's get back to the competition, shall we? Starting with the men. Of course, we expected Matt Fraser to dominate. He did. Let's celebrate that for a second. The last time Matt Fraser was beaten face to face was at the 2015 CrossFit Games. This weekend in London, he kept his foot on the gas all weekend long, whether chasing from behind or leading from the front in overall standings. Best of all, from where I'm standing, Fraser seemed to be having a lot of fun. On Sunday, he continued to press, and long story short, he ended with a near-perfect weekend. His only placements outside of first coming in the monorail structural events, the run and the row. Now, the men's competition behind Fraser was extremely compelling. Entering the final day, 27 points separated the big Swede Lucas Hogberg in second place, Giorgios Karibis from Greece in third, England's David Schrunk, and Andre Goudet in fifth. All of those athletes were in the hunt for a games ticket, not just a podium spot. Shrunk made huge moves, like hundreds of points huge on day two of competition, and he carried that momentum into the final day. He was smooth on the rope and handstands, taking third place in tin trail. Lucas Hogberg had the opposite result. Early on, he tried to keep pace with Matt Fraser, a decision he would later come to regret. Lucas finished 11th in the event, surrendered the lead to Shrunk, and put himself in a do-or-die situation entering the final. In 21-15-9, Alenkowitz and Fraser put on a show, taking first and second overall. Behind them, although Hogberg kept it interesting, Shrunk was relentless, edging out Lucas by 7 seconds and taking the event win. A look at your overall standings, while Matthew Fraser is the 2020 Strength and Depth Champion, David Shrunk earned his first individual invitation to the CrossFit Games. Congratulations to you, David, and for those of you who wish to know a little bit more about who he is, here is my favorite CrossFit Games competition statistician, Chad Schroeder. Hey, Ro, Chad here, just checking out the Strength and Depth results, and congrats to David Schronke for uh, taking the qualifying spot this year. It's got to be pretty uh, sweet for him, given last year I had just missed out at strength and depth by six points from first place in that qualifying spot. Also, it's pretty cool he gets to go to the games with his uh, girlfriend, Emma Tall, who qualified again this year for the games. It'll be her second time, and it'll actually be David's second time as well. He went on a team in 2016 with CrossFit Nordic, so congrats to David and make him back to the games. On now to the women's division. Things were a little bit different in the women's competition where the top four athletes entering the final day were already in position of a ticket to the CrossFit Games. However, glory and money were still on the line for Laura Horvath, Gabriella Magala, Haley Adams, and Camilla solomon Helmonson. Horvath started the final day as the points leader on the back of her 300-point Saturday performance. However, Magala drew first blood on day three in tin trip, taking first and biting into Horvath's lead. In the final event, the Hungarian would not stand down. Horvath showed championship poise, taking her fourth win of the competition when it mattered most. With that performance, Horvath is officially your 2020 Strength and Depth Champion. A look at the remainder of your overall standings, where Magala held on to second, Adams and Solomon Helmonson round out your top four. But what about that ticket to the CrossFit Games? Well, it makes my heart happy to report on that for you. After bouncing back from 23rd in event number one, team athlete from Invictus Boston, Kelsey Keel, fought and clawed her way back into contention. She ended day two with a second place finish in Clean Bandit. And with another second place event finished in the final, she clinches her spot to the games as an individual for the first time. Finally, we conclude our coverage with the team division where the winner would take all as teams can only qualify for the CrossFit Games through sanctional competition. With the defending champs in the field, they were the odds on favorite. However, an Irish team led by the national champion Emma McQuaid pushed them all the way until the morning of the final day. My field reporter, who you will recognize but may or may not understand, caught up with them before competition started on the final day. Hi guys, Sam Briggs here. I'm uh, with Team Wade. I'm uh, not sure if you'll understand them both because they're both Irish, but we'll uh, we'll give it a go. So how do you feel about uh, going into the last day? 
been on it eight points behind Mayhem. Pretty psyched, yeah. Yeah, going to give it all in this first event, try and uh, pull back the points to make the final workout really interesting. So, the plan is to win event six. And how do you feel about the final event? Oh, we're just ready to go dark. <laughs> Dirty of everything, um, I definitely think we'll be able to bring it to Mayhem on this one. All right, good luck, guys. Thank, Thank you. Unfortunately, the luck of the Irish ran out on Sunday, and Mayhem started doing Mayhem things. They were first on both events, ultimately winning five out of the seven events and putting to bed any doubts about the addition of their new teammate, Scott Panchik. Mayhem Freedom is your 2020 Strength in Depth Champions, and we can now say officially that we will see them in Madison at the 2020 Reebok CrossFit Games. I've got so many things to pass out. First to the team at Strength and Depth, who are amazing, uh, especially Robin for fielding all of my requests on a consistent basis. Uh, Tommy Marquez, Tia Claire, Sam Briggs, Chris Hinshaw, Matt O'Keefe, all the people who are sending me content from over there and trying to help me cure my FOMO because London looked absolutely ballers. And thanks, of course, to you all for watching. This has been a really fun ride. We're going to keep on doing stuff like this. So do all of that YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, and if you like what I'm doing, share it with your friends. I love this community. I love this sport. Not going anywhere, so come along with me. As we go, I leave you in the very capable hands of my good friend, Mr. Tommy Marquez, for his three top moments from the weekend. All right, Ro, here are my top three moments from Strength and Depth this past weekend. We're gonna start on the team side of things. And for me, it was that second event, kind of dubbed the team standard event, uh, almost eerily similar to the trio event that the teams had as the finale last year at the games. After Mayhem finished ninth in that first event, kind of a surprising finish. Everyone expected them to be in the top five. I was really excited to see how they would respond. Of course, they respond with an event win and in very similar fashion to at the game. So at the games, they beat, uh, they beat the next fastest team by about 19 seconds here in London. They beat them by 20 seconds. So it felt very similar in terms of them stamping kind of a, uh, a championship moment at the games and for them kind of kickstarting their, their march back to the championship by getting an event win and getting them back on track. For the women's side, the event number four, Creeping Death, I felt like the way that finished with Lowell Horvath and Gabriella Magala kind of racing to the finish in a photo finish and then Haley Adams right behind them in third, felt like if you took a crystal ball and you looked 10 years into the future, that's exactly what you're gonna see. You're gonna see these young athletes um, kind of running away with the sport a little bit or being the preeminent athletes at the forefront of competition here. And given that they're 23, 21, and 19 respectively, I think we have many years to come of these athletes being very prominent in the sport. And that was kind of a nice look into that. And it shouldn't be discounted that Kelsey Keel finished in fourth in that event. And really to me, that was kind of the moment that kind of kickstarted her charge into uh, getting a stranglehold on holding the invite. And lo and behold, she ends up walking away with the invite from Strength and Depth, so congrats to her as well. And then on the men, for me, uh, I think the finale has to take it. So the race between Matt Fraser and Bronislav Milenkovic um, was just fantastic. And you could even see in the live stream, go back and watch it right after. They're high-fiving and hugging because they knew that was kind of an epic race to the finish. Uh, between two heavy hitters as far as the barbell um, and then kind of trading some top finishes all weekend and, and then in that moment as well sealed the deal for David Shirunki so a homegrown talent from the UK in front of his home crowd um, gets to kind of stamp uh, and put the finishing touches on his very first ticket as an individual to the CrossFit Games um, in a very special setting for him. Um, I think that was a really special moment. You could see the gravity of the moment when he crossed the finish line. And he outdueled a very game Lucas Hoberg in, do in doing so. Remember Lucas is a guy that finished on the podium a couple years ago. So those were kind of the moments for each one of those respective divisions that were tops in my books from the 2020 Strength and Depth. definitely know where it ends. Somewhere in England. F up the line. <laughs> we got it is, right? Ready? Yep. Come on. Guys, get closer together. We gotta we yeah. gotta get closer together. So we, and you gotta yell, you gotta talk loud, go. That just in. Let's find somebody else. <laughs> Alright. And next person. And shit all the time. Tell us who you are. Significance. Hey family. Ro here in CrossFit Mayhem from Cookville, Tennessee. Uh, I don't know where, where, are you, where it is. Where are you from? Mambra! Mambra! Right. Okay, you, what are we looking for? What are we looking forward to? Oh, forward to! Thank you so much! Thank you! Alright, over here! Hi! Costco, is 
that a shop? <laughs> yes! Oh! I thought it was too! Yes. I wasn't expecting that, but now that that's been established. Senior's literally running a something right now. UK and the 2013 fittest woman. Briggs with her thoughts on the competition in London and its significance. That's Senior. I don't, I don't know what he's doing, but I don't know what he's doing. He's like, he's tearing the building apart. So. Swansea from Swansea! <laughs> Wales! Wales! Come in, Trish! I'm right here, but we're, we're Take just cutting me out of that one. But no, I'm oh, sorry, me too. Thank you very much Thank for your you. time. Thanks, Thank Amanda you. from Swansea. Thank you. Now let's wrap it up. What's this? Oh, oh, oh on hang on. Yeah, can we use you actually? No, can oh. we borrow? No, 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 no. You just pretend. <laughs> hang on. I'll give you the cue, and yeah. then you will just pretend to pick it up. I'll come over. Just, just act natural, but okay. just wait. I'll give you like the. Okay. So wait. Here. Yeah, like, yeah. Right. 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 Pork, yeah, sharp, sorry. Sharp objects. Food on there too. Weird. So, um, yes. Pick yeah. it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Jack, where Jack. are you from, Jack? Uh, Birmingham. 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 I know. Birmingham's about 40 minutes on the tube. Apparently, Birmingham. He's from Birmingham anyway. Uh, are we taking up much of your time? No, no, it's fine. Honestly. Oh, wow. So, so Is if you this could heavy? just tell us what you're no, looking no, they're forward not too bad. to. Do you know what? I haven't seen louder, it. Louder, louder, louder. We, we need more. What it, are yeah. you looking for? I need louder. Um, Noises. Um, I suppose uh, <laughs> maybe seeing some of the. <laughs> <laughs> Stand by and we are good. And hopefully he picks up with a fork. Walk past me.